Hi there. Welcome to our fourth vlog in our series on the spirit of money. So what have we discussed so far? Well, in our first video, we spoke about the fact that success was 80% psychology and 20% mechanics. That you do need the mechanics, but truly you've got to have the right psychology for success. Because you can have the best products in the world, but if you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to create an abundance of money. We spoke about the importance of focusing, uh, getting rid of our scarcity beliefs and creating prosperity beliefs. And then last week, I gave you three powerful affirmations, which I trust that you've been using every single day, doing it once is pointless, but that you've been saying your affirmations. I am tremendously successful. I am financially independent and earn at least X amount per month. And the greater my success, the greater my ability to help others. Just those three affirmations every single day will start making a huge impact on your life. Today we're going to speak about the power of visualization. Now what is visualization? Easy peasy, Japanesey, lemon squeezy. Visualization is taking some time out. Five minutes, even if it's just five minutes a day, remember that five minutes a day can radically change your life. Doing a visualization once a week is pointless. The key to success is repetition. So if you can give yourself five, ideally 10 minutes a day, John Keogh's uh, visualization CD on creating an abundance of money is a 12 minute affirmation and a 12 minute visualization. What I used to do is I'd listen to the affirmation while I was driving in the car and I'd do the visualization at night. To be completely honest with you, I even did the visualization after the affirmation pl uh, played in the car. I always say to people, don't do the visualization while you're driving because John's going to say, just close your eyes and begin to relax. Just let go and relax, which is not a good idea while you're driving. However, the truth be told, I used to listen to the affirmation side and because it, the visualization played over, I used to listen to it. Obviously, I didn't close my eyes because I was driving. But I found that just listening to the visualization oiled my subconscious mind and started feeding my mind with the images of what success would look like for me. So, what is visualization? Visualization is going inside, closing your eyes, and creating the mental pictures of what it is that you'd like to see happening to you. So if you want to be a confident person, you close your eyes and you visualize yourself being a confident person. Right now, I'm closing my eyes and I'm visualizing myself speaking on stage to an audience of 10,000 people. And I can literally see the people in front of me right now. Now, I've had some of my mind power graduates say that they can't seem to see anything. There's another technique which we teach in mind power, which is called seeding. And seeding is focusing on creating the feeling. So if you can't see the images, what would it feel like to be in front of 10,000 people? Or what would it feel like to be financially successful? So in visualization, my invitation is to take some time to close your eyes, go inside, and visualize whatever it is that you want. And I want to share with you a visualization that I was given by, hmm, I forget the speaker's name. I always like to give credit where it is due. South African speaker, I forget his name. But he came and did a talk once. Uh, at a mind power uh, follow up session uh, when I was still a mind power student, and he said, Here's a visualization I recommend that you do every single night. And I did do it. Just try it tonight. He said, Visualize a river flowing, a huge river like the Nile, or the Zambezi, or the Mississippi, or any big river, but not just a stream, a huge river that's like you know, hundreds of meters wide and visualize this river flowing for kilometers and miles and miles and miles. But it's not a river of water. It's a river of money. Visualize a river of money flowing. Now just see if you can close your eyes and visualize hundred dollar bills, 20 pound notes, 50 Australian dollars, I can see them in my head. I can see a hundred dollar New Zealand dollar bill. I can see pounds. I can see 200 rands. Visualize a river of money and just visualize this river flowing 
and it is flowing down to the ocean and just see it meandering and there's this huge river of money flowing and as it goes over a waterfall you see the money flopping and starting to fall over and see all this money flowing over and here's the best part as this money is coming down over the waterfall you are standing at the bottom of it you've got your hands open and this money is flowing into you and through you and you are a conduit for this abundance of money now a lot of people are like oh no no let's not let it flow out money is about flow my friends trust that the river up there there's so much more where that's come from don't block the flow let the flow move. Allow the money to flow through you. So when you spend your money, spend it with love. Sometimes I find that when money, when people have to pay for something, they pay with such a bad heart. And like, how much? $150 for this? Ah, you still have to pay. Why not give $150? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The energy with which you give the money depends on how you receive it. So again, Visualize this river of money flowing into you and through you and see it making a difference in the world and empowering the people around you and that money is flowing to you and will always flow to you in oceans of abundance. So do that visualization. Now, how long did we do that for? Two minutes? It's not a long time. But just maybe before you go to bed at night, visualize yourself lying in bed and this river of money is flowing into you. And then visualize, as in the CD, uh, Creating Abundance of Money, John asks you to visualize the lifestyle you're going to live. Visualize the home that you're going to be able to buy. Visualize the car that you're going to drive in. I can see the one I want to drive in. It's the one they lent me. Oh, it's so sexy. But I visualize myself driving that car. I visualize myself flying business class. I visualize myself flying in my own Learjet. Now, remember that the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. Now the conscious mind knows that you're just doing an exercise, but the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. So what you want to do is do this visualization that I've shared with you, even if you just do the river of money, do it five times a week. Just before you go to bed or when you wake up in the morning, ideally at whichever one works best actually, but just do it for two, three minutes a day. Visualize and visualize yourself being financially successful and see your friends and family benefiting from your financial success. You are tremendously successful and money is flowing to you and will always flow to you in abundance. You enjoy and deserve abundance lose yourself in that feeling of abundance so that's what i wanted to share with you today in this particular series is use the power of visualization now me talking about it this i've just given you knowledge go and actually apply it and you will actually see the results thank you so much for tuning in i look forward to being with you again next week in our new series on the spirit of money go well and as always don't forget to be awesome